Despite all the prayers they offer and the precautions they take, accidents do happen. Only last year, Amrita Dhami of Khangdang in Rapla lost her husband. Dhire Singh Dhami slipped on the snow and lost his life while on his way climbing to the place of the Yarsa Gumba. Dhire Singh was just 18 when he died, leaving behind a pregnant wife Amrita who was 16 years old. Now, all her efforts are concentrated on raising her fatherless child. Within a year of this tragedy, another accident took place. Amar Singh Dhami from Malaf Rapla was seriously injured after he lost his balance and fell. Fortunately, the village health worker was also in the group collecting Yarsa Gumba. But the health worker did not have enough medicines. It took eight days for the medicines to arrive from the district headquarters. Only then did the severely wounded Amar Singh get primary treatment. But the equipment was not usable enough. The stitching needle happened to be blunt and could not pierce the skin. So they had to use the huge needle used for repairing tents. People compete with each other while collecting Yarsa Gumba. But when one needs another's help, they leave everything for the sake of the victim. This meeting is deciding when Amar Singh should be carried down for further treatment. After discussions, it was agreed that the Yarsa Gumba collection would be stopped the next day to take him for treatment. <laughs> Carrying someone with a fractured leg over steep trails made slippery by the snow is torturous for all. Even one stumble can send everyone over the mountainside. Breathing is very difficult because of the lack of oxygen at such a height. The relatives and the neighbors were tired, but they were still courageous and helpful. Within three days, they were able to reach the treatment center. But on the way back, one of them slipped on the snow and lost his life. This is the kind of danger these collectors of Yarsa Gumba find themselves in all the time. Although the Yarsa Gumba trade has had a great impact on the lives of the people, most of them do not know where it is marketed or what it is used for. In the absence of proper government regulations, the intricate channel of the Yarsa Gumba trade is not easy to understand. As a result, Nepali collectors have to rely on the Chinese market and businessmen. Chinese businessmen deal with Nepali wholesalers, who in turn work through middlemen at various local levels. Usually, these middlemen fix the price before the collection begins and even offer advance money to the collectors. Given the profits made by the middlemen at different levels, the actual collectors have not been able to get a proper price for the Yarsa Gumba. There are no statistics on the Yarsa Gumba trade in Nepal. The government had prohibited trade in Yarsa Gumba some time back. However, it withdrew the ban two years ago and allowed the trade to resume on payment of 20,000 rupees per kilo as royalty. At that rate, the government should be earning millions of rupees. But to take one example of what is actually happening, in a year and a half, 
Dolpa district raised only 60,000 rupees as Yarsa Gumba royalty. निसंदेह जड़ीबुटी वाटा उड़नु पाने राजस्व उठे को चाहिए ना मैं तेज़ में कोनी शंका चाहिए ना तेज़ को मतलब इच्छुर वाटा पानी वाटा गाय को चाहिए ना तेज़ को मतलब इच्छुर वाटा पानी वाटा गाय को चाहिए ना तेज़ को मतलब इच्छुर वाटा पानी वाटा गाय को चाहिए ना तेज़ को मतलब इच्